Consider the vectors a and b such that coordinates of a are 12 and negative 5 and uh, the magnitude of b is uh, 15, it's just its length. Find the possible range of values a plus b and uh, the magnitude. So we need to uh, consider the length of the sum of two vectors a and b. When can we get the maximum possible value for the sum? When two vectors are parallel and are in the same direction. And uh, length of b is 15. B and length of a is uh, uh, 13. To find the magnitude of a vector, it's just the square root of the sum of squares of uh, its coordinates, so it's 13, and hence it's the maximum possible length, which is uh, uh, 28, and if two vectors are in opposite direction and uh, also are parallel, so it looks like 15 uh, is 13, so uh, the length of uh, the sum is 2 and uh, for all other intermediate uh, positions of these two vectors we will get uh, the length uh, which will be in between. So the sum of two vectors and uh, its magnitude is in between 28 including and uh, uh, greater than 2 also including. For any other intermediate uh, positions, for example, like this, we can apply a parallelogram rule for the sum, and sum looks like this, and its uh, length is uh, in between 2 and 28, including. So, the next question, consider the vector P, such that P is the sum, of two vectors, given that a plus b is a minimum, find p. So, the length of p is 2, because the minimum of the sum is 2, and we need coordinates of vector p, and we can see that coordinates of a are given, but we don't know coordinates of B, we just know its length or magnitude. And we can see that A looks like 12 squares to the right and 5 squares downward, so it looks like this. 12 and 5. And since the sum is minimum, it means that B is in opposite direction, so its length is 13, and B is 15, it's longer, and in opposite direction. So B is A plus B, hence uh, the resultant vector uh, which is the sum of a and b, it's in this direction and its length is 2, so it's vector p. And we can see that this angle is equal to this angle, this angle is equal to this angle, so we have uh, uh, like triangles. And and actually we can consider for example tangent uh, or, or, or just ratio so tangent is 12 over uh, 5 or ratio opposite uh, leg or adjacent leg is 12 over 5 hence here ratio also is 12 x over or let it be uh, 12 for example, m and adjacent is 5m. m is unknown value for one part. Ratio is 12 parts over 5 parts. 
and we know that length is 2. So 2 is square root of 12m squared plus 5m squared or uh, square both sides to get 2 squared is equal to this. Hence 4 is 144m squared plus 25m squared. So it's uh, 4 over 169 is m squared. Hence m is the square root of this. Hence m is 4 or, uh, 2 over 13. But it's just a magnitude and we can see that uh, vector a is 12 to the right and 5 downwards. Hence we can see that uh, vector p is uh, x coordinate is to the left. Hence it will be negative and y coordinate is positive. Uh, so coordinates of p are negative. 12 times 2 over 13 and plus plus 5 2 over 13 hence it's negative 24 over 13 10 over 13 And the next question, consider the vector Q such that Q has coordinates X and Y and the uh, coordinates are positive. Find Q such that magnitude of Q is equal to the magnitude of V, so its length is also 15 and Q is perpendicular to A. If two vectors are perpendicular, it means that the dot product is equal to zero. Dot product is uh, x uh, times x plus y time, times y. So 12 times x plus negative 5 times y is 0. And also it is given uh, the magnitude. Magnitude is uh, 15 is equal to square root or 15 squared is equal to x squared plus y squared and hence we get simultaneous equations and can solve it uh, so we can see that y uh, from here y is 12 x over 5 hence 225 is x squared plus 144 x squared over 25 And it becomes 169x squared over 25. Hence, x is square root of 225 times 25 over 169. So it's 50, oh, without root. It's 15 times 5 over, over 13. So it's 75 over 13 and y is 12 over 5 times x which is 75 over 13 it's a 15 and it is equal to 180 over 13 hence coordinates of Q are 75 over 13 and 180 over 13. And that's all for this question.